Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about the single kettlebell floor press. This video is part of a greater series of videos where we are teaching kettlebells in a logical order from absolute basics up to advanced technique. This video goes in the middle of a Turkish getup series. There are fundamental things you need to know in kettlebells, the deadlift, the swing, the hand-to-hand -hand swing, the clean, the hand change, the press, the squat, the step back lunge, and all of those things develop to get us to the point where we can start to work on our Turkish getup. The Turkish getup is getting up off of the ground with a kettlebell in one arm in lockout. Thus far, we have been working on the get down portion of it, a clean step back to putting our knee on the ground. Now we are gonna flip it, we are gonna go to our back start picking up the bell and doing a single arm floor press. The Turkish getup essentially starts to replace bench press for most people for at home training. It is very different from a bench press. With bench press, you would use very heavy weights, but it would not be a complicated movement. With a Turkish getup, we start with a floor press and then it will turn into a half getup. Then we will get all the way up. Then we will work on getting back down. We are gonna start from a seated position down on the ground and we are gonna work on getting the kettlebell up without hurting our shoulder. Getting the kettlebell to our starting position is half of the learning technique and we would like to be very good at it. We will start by rolling our body towards the kettlebell. The goal is to put our hand in front of our solar plexus. Take your other hand, grab on and pull, keeping the kettlebell in front of our shoulder the entire time change legs. This makes more sense when we develop into the next steps of the Turkish getup. Elbow flat on the ground, arm basically at 90 degrees so that the forearm is vertical. Other hand out at a 45 degree angle. You can either do head flat on the ground, but most people will start with the head up off of the ground so that they can get more core engagement when they are learning. Press to elbow lockout. The same way that we press the lockout overhead, we start with lockout here. Bring the elbow down to the ground, touch, press all the way up. Bring it down, touch, press all the way up, bring it down, touch, elbow rests on the ground, forearm remains vertical, press all the way up. The important part is that we are still holding our kettlebell like it's a kettlebell. We have quickly changed angles here so that you can see the angle that the kettlebell sits at. Everything that we do with the bell is the same as we do when we are in the standing position. The L of our hand is all the way into the corner of the kettlebell. The handle is down at a 45 degree angle. Our elbow is locked out. How you hold it matters. If you find yourself holding it with a parallel handle and your wrist is bent, you will have a hard time going up to heavier and heavier weights. If you end up with the bell in this position, adjust the bell. L of the hand to the L of the kettlebell, 45 degrees down, so that your fingers are pointed straight at the sky when you open your hand. If your fingers are pointed to the side, adjust the bell. Bring the elbow down till it touches the ground. The forearm is still vertical. What we are doing is avoiding resting the bell on our body because that will mean that we will have to add a whole movement to lift the bell up. It works with a lightweight, it does not work with a heavyweight. Back to the original side, let's discuss setting the bell down. After you finish your final rep, elbow touches the ground. The other hand comes up and over, grabs onto the knuckles, and you're gonna roll your whole body to the side to keep the kettlebell in front of your chest. What we are trying to avoid doing by rolling our body to the side is externally rotating our elbow fast with a heavy weight. You're trying to avoid that external rotation because many people who have a history of working out in the gym are not great at that. If you have a history of heavy club swinging or mace swinging, that gets substantially less dangerous. Or if you have worked on your basics and worked on your halos, your alternating halos for several months, then externally rotating the shoulder under load gets less and less dangerous over time. But in the beginning, everything is about safety. We want the hand to stay in relation to our chest, so we are going to roll our body on the ground to keep it there. When we grab with our hands, knuckle comes to knuckle so that we can wrap our hand over the top. That way, when we set it down, 
we have the best possible grip and our hand stays in front of the center of our body. When changing hands in the beginning, we will roll over the kettlebell. This hides an extra bit of athletic training in here, which is a bit of ground engagement. After we finish the rep, we grab with our other hand, we roll to the center. We are going to roll over the bell to get to the other side. Line up your hand, grab with the other hand, pull it to center, and begin presses on the other side. Grab the weight to set it down. Change legs. Keep the kettlebell in the center. Unthread your arm. Get over the top any way you want in the beginning. We will talk about making this fancier over time. In the beginning, just get over the bell. Kettlebell at elbow height. Get close to the bell, pull it up, and begin your presses on the other side. Always pick it up and set it down with good technique. This exercise tends to be a very safe way for people to work on chest development. It has different angles than what you will work on in the gym, but because you are on the ground, you cannot drop your elbow behind the line of your body. When people do bench in a gym and they lower the weight down and touch the bar to their chest, their elbow tracks behind the body. Because of the way that the bench is set up, many people will get movement by opening up the front of their shoulder joint. That is why 60% of the gym going male population has an injury right here. Developing all the basic pieces of a Turkish getup will help you over time heal those injuries and integrate your chest strength into core strength. When the elbow stops moving by touching the ground, the shoulder capsule cannot open up. So this becomes a very safe way for people to train with a low likelihood of injury. The key thing is picking the weight up and putting it down with correct technique. Many people get hurt when they set the weight down by dropping the weight to the side and giving up the tension in the muscles before they are done with the weight.